Semadon TV Semadon TV Semadon TV Anointing will be based on Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 Only that verse I told you it's a very short message Verse 44 says Verse 44 of Matthew chapter 13 Are you there? The kingdom of God is like treasure buried in a field that a man found and reburied. Then in his joy, he goes and sells everything he has and buys that field. Very short message. Give me your ear. The mystery of creation. There is nothing that Papa God created that is not carrying a treasure. Let me surprise you. Do you know that this church we are in now, that gold may be under this ground? Do you know that? That gold may be under this ground. Now we have cemented here, we have decked here, and we can never have access to this ground. But do you know that God may have buried gold under this ground? That when you dig 1,000 feet, you may be meeting gold. The anointing I want to place on your head is based on this revelation. A man was renting a farm that the family members neglected on lease. They don't like the location where he did. They don't like where the farm is. So they cannot even go there and farm. They are not interested in the farm. So what do they do? They will lease it to people. The person will just pay them 50000 and go and farm them for one year. I said, I bet we don't fit there too far. We don't, get, we don't get them at all. Just they give us 50000 Go there, take them. Bible says one day, this man went rent the farm. When they hire the farm, one day, this man that was hiring the farm was digging ground to plant yam. He dug and dug. Something made sham. Based on the rays of the sun. Ulaya. He saw gold. He saw what? Oh God. Let us change it. Say treasure. Good. He saw gold. He started digging. Started digging. The more he was digging, the more he was seeing gold. Somebody shot gold. So, Okuja. The man Kujad. I said, you mean this farm that I have been Planting on since one year. These people, no, they, no, they interested in. Now I must see this gold. Now hear this now. If the man had carried the gold, now thief, wisdom, he covered it back. He went to the people who rented it and said, "That lad on that one I not like. Can I buy it?" They said, "Thank God." Can I buy it? They say, they say, ah, you like them? Ah, it, how much would you buy it? I say five hundred thousand. I say five hundred. It's too much. Just give us four hundred. It's useless. It's it's, it's not want our land. It's not want our ikbegbe. And then, Uzaria, Uzaria, Uzaria. Who don't want it? The Bible says they now gave to the man. The man paid, signed all the documents, and took it and went back and then possessed the gold. What is the anointing for today? I want to pray for somebody here quickly. That through today's anointing, you will receive the power that will open your eyes to see hidden treasures. Hey, hey, hey. The anointing to see hidden treasures. Somebody hear me. The anointing to see what? Last week was what? Eh? Last week was what? This week is what? The anointing to see. 
you forget this? If you forget again, I will die. The anointing to see hidden treasures. Hey! Eh? To see hidden. How many of you want God to open your eyes? <laughs> The anointing to see, I prophesy that anyone that will be anointed today, your eyes will open. You will see hidden treasures. You will see hidden treasures. You will see hidden. Say, Oh Lord, give me the anointing to see hidden treasures. Jesus. I need the anointing to see hidden treasures. Father, give me the anointing to see hidden treasures. Listen to me. Hands up. I'm already blessing you now. I'm already praying and blessing you now. Listen to me. Hands up. <laughs> Everything that God created, living and non-living, had wonderful treasures deposited inside them by God. There are human beings carrying treasure. If God has not given you the anointing, you will come in contact with them, you will reject them. You will come in contact with them, they will see problem and run away from them. There are people that are carrying hidden treasures. There are people carrying hidden treasures. There are places carrying hidden treasures. There are businesses carrying hidden treasures. If you lack this anointing, you will come in contact with them and still go away. They will not make impact with you. You will look down on them because you lack the anointing. But when this anointing is upon your life, when you come in contact with hidden treasure, God will open your eyes. And when God opens your eyes, you will see your hidden treasures. Somebody say, Lord, I need the anointing. For hidden treasures. I want to see what they cannot see. I want to see. I want to understand what they cannot understand. My father, my father, give me the anointing for hidden treasures. Amen. In Genesis chapter 21, verse 14 to 21, the Bible says, Haggai and Ishmael. They were in the forest about to die. But there was a hidden treasure somewhere. The hidden treasure they could not see. And they were crying to die. Until the angel of the Lord placed the anointing upon Haggai. When the anointing came upon Haggai, her eyes opened. And what did she see? She saw treasure. What was the treasure? A well of fresh water. And his, she and her son said to there. Oh God. I want to pray for somebody here. I feel like praying. Make sure your hands are up for your family. Oh God, give me that anointing. Give me that anointing. Give me that anointing. Give me that anointing. Let me tell you, God has hidden treasures everywhere in the world. God has hidden treasures everywhere in our society. If you want to discover them, come in contact with God. He will open your eyes. I pray for you today. Through today's anointing, that hidden treasure that God kept for you, you will see them. That hidden treasure that God kept for you and your family, you will see them. Somebody shout amen seven times. Anointing for hidden treasures has to do with discovery. Please, I beg you, stretch your hand like this. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we have come. We have come to be anointed. We want this special anointing. The anointing that opens our eyes to see hidden treasures. I pray for all of you watching all over the world. That as we receive the anointing here, may the anointing that will open your eyes to see hidden treasures rest upon you now in Jesus' name. Rest upon you in Jesus' name. I pray for your children. 
they will never come in contact with treasure and, uh, and reject treasure. The devil will not give them counterfeits. The devil will not give them counterfeits. Hey! Please, let us look at it. These men, this family, rejected their land. They, they rejected their land. They look down on their land. They look down on what God has given them. There is this story of a man. Now they hear me. Make I speak for pigeon. This man, now a very rich man, very rich man. He get money where where. As I told this story now, if he consign any twenty day your life, if he consign members of your family, make God use them, bring blessings upon your family. This man rich where where. One day, he can't decide to send his son when he like go Obodo Yibo for study. When this man decided to send this boy for study, they booked for everything, paid for everything, paid for his hostel fees, paid for school fees in America. And then this man, who was a well-known international businessman, gathered the friends of this boy for party as a kind of sent forth. And then they gathered and they danced and they danced. And it was time for presentation of gift. Friends gave the gift. The mother gave the gift. When it was time for the father to give this boy a gift, the father gave this boy a Bible. When he gave this boy a Bible, the father wrote at the back of the Bible, always study Joshua chapter 10. And that is where it is written, do not let this book to depart from you. Make sure that you use this book, read this book all the days of your life. That if you read this book and you read it, you will prosper. The boy took the Bible. After the party, he was angry. He began verse for a party. He said, I thought my father will surprise me. I thought my father will surprise me. I thought my father. And then after the party, he verse entered room. His sister said and the verse. A mama said and the verse. Then rush follow him. He bang the door. Bang it down. He entered the verse. He said, Mom, can't you see? I told you that dad does not like me. I told that this man hates me. You say I'm the first son. What is this? You all gave me money. What am I going to do with Bible? Even though he has paid my school fees. Even though he opened an account for me there. Even though he did that, 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 that. He said, Calm down. You know your daddy. He's a spiritual man. Oh, I don't care. Talk hell with his God. You know some of these people who make such noise. When they see the person, they are, they are, they are making noise because of them. We keep quiet. When the father came, what is happening? Nothing. And then the next morning, they carried the boy to the airport. And he left for America. One month, two months. Because the mother said, your father will send you money. And we talk to your father. One month, the woman was to, to, to telling the, 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 the husband, send money to, send money to, for, for what? Say for what? I have told him to be close to God. I have told that anybody who reads the word of God will never be poor. The, 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 the mother called the boy and said, Junior, how far? Your father is, see, I think he should be reading Bible to her. Are you with the Bible? Mommy, I don't care. I kept it there. He never touched the Bible. One month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months, eight months. The boy was angry. Was angry. And then the mother said to him, Junior, your father has surprised me. The husband I have has surprised me. This is the first time he has remained adamant. I have used all my techniques. I have prepared the best food. I have used all I know to make your husband send you money. Your husband was angry and said he will never. That since you have decided to disobey him for not reading that Bible, he will never send you anything at all. Junior, why not obey your father? The mother's language changed. The mother's language became a language of obey your father. Obey your father. One day, this boy was in this room, tired and angry. Sees the way, he knows he's from a rich home. He knows what he could control, but he was disappointed that he could not control that. He couldn't use the kind of money he wanted to. He was managing, managing. For the first day, he took the Bible said, let me obey my father now. Okay, this is the Bible now. As soon as he took away the gift wrap, and went to read the assignment there, Joshua. bam. He saw a check. Ten thousand dollars. With a note that is his pocket money. He said, I have been poor because I was disobedient. You mean my father knew he gave me ten thousand dollars? As pocket money, what I would have been enjoying, but because I refused to 
honor and respect and read that particular passage of the Bible. I have been poor for months. He took phone and said, Mommy, 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 I have been a fool. I have been a fool. Do you know why? He lacked the anointing for healing. When the grace came upon him, the door opened. He opened the Bible and saw a check that will make him go to clunches with his friends for two, three months. He will still be rich. Today, as we priest anoint you, may you possess the anointing that will make you discover all your hidden treasures in Jesus' name. You will never make a costly mistake in the name of Jesus. Hands up, eyes closed. As this oil stands on this altar to move, I pray for you that anyone here that will be anointed Oh, all your hidden treasures you will see. You will meet the conditions. You will see your hidden treasures. We have living things and non-living things. God puts treasures in them. There are human beings that are special to you. The devil will give you reasons why you should not follow them. It's because you have not seen the treasure in them. Any power that wants to blindfold you, may this anointing blindfold that power. Did I hear you shout, Amen? I pray for anyone here whose brothers are overseas that as you receive this oil today, God will open their eyes. They will see. They will see. They will see. They will see. God will open their eyes. They will see their hidden treasures. In man, in woman, in boy, in girl, in properties. In the name of Jesus. I pray against any spirit that will make you and I behave like that man, that family that sold that land. You will never sell off your treasure. No matter how the devil will remote you, this anointing will sustain you. You see some people, in anger, they sack their wife. Not knowing that their wife is the hidden treasure. May you never pursue your wife away. I believe in the Bible that says that what God has not planted must be uprooted. What about what God has planted? Oh, no, no, hear me. Huh? What God has not planted must be uprooted. And the devil will deceive you and make your wife to be slapping you. You say, this is why my wife is slap me, not because God planted them. What God has planted, I must discover. Did I hear you say yes? What God has not planted must be uprooted. But what God has planted for you, you shall discover them. Somebody shot a man seven times. I bless this oil. We are going to give you this oil now and before you receive it and after you receive it make sure you pray and then we conclude with jesus coming to bless you make sure you are standing hear this we are not anointing your pictures we are anointing your head from your own head take that will make you cry the bible did not tell us what happened to the family that sold the land and suddenly realized that there was gold You will not take decisions that will make you regret. Did I hear you shout, Amen? Okay, please pray for me. I will never take the decision that will make me regret. So shall it be. As this oil touches you, may God open your eyes. Opening of eyes also means understanding and courage and boldness through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hebu begi de jerendi gi osi Hebu begi na kwa romu gi ogo 
The Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. And somebody will shout, Amen. The Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. 
The Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. Let the anointing to discover all your hidden treasures. Rest upon your life. Rest upon your family. Everybody shout, I receive seven times. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Let God fight for your family. We have no power of our own. We lift up Jesus, who knows the secret plans of the enemy. May this God fight for you. May Jesus fight for you. Somebody shout, Oh Lord, fight for me. Fight for me. Fight for me. Jesus, fight for my family. Fight for my family. Fight for my family. Fight for my family. Restore my blessings. Restore my life. Restore my good health. Oh God, there is no one like you. Jesus, there is no one like you. Holy Spirit, there is no one like you. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to worship God. Everybody, shout glory, shout glory, shout glory. Let the glory of God rest upon you. 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 Let the glory of God dwell in you. Let the anointing of God rest upon you. You will not be put to shame. One day, one day, one day, you will shout for joy. You will shout for joy. You will shout for joy. God will fight for you. And you will see your hidden treasures. You will see your hidden treasures. All your hidden treasures. You will see them one by one. You will see the anointing. To discover and recover. To discover and recover. To recover and discover. In the 